how to add page numbers in Canva. To add page numbers in Canva, you actually have to get a bit creative because up to this day, there is still no built-in feature to add page numbers in Canva. With that said, let's dive right into it. The first way to add page numbers in Canva is by simply using a template. To do so on the left sidebar, click on design and after that try to find a template that already has page numbers. Most of these templates actually won't have that, but I was lucky enough to find one, which is the first one here, which I have already added to our canvas here. And as you can see here down below, it has these nice page numbers. In this case, we have page five. And now what you can do, if you have a lot of pages, you can simply click here on duplicate page and then repeat that step as many times as you want. And after that, you would simply go in here and then change these page numbers one by one. Here, obviously we would set one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. Now, obviously you would usually do that only after having finished all the other elements on the first page. If you would just like to keep the page number, then you can obviously also do that. You would simply left click on the elements that you don't know and then click on delete. You can do that with all of these elements here. And as you can see, we are now just left with the page number here. Then you can do the exact same thing. You would just simply click here on duplicate. Do that as many times as you want. And then you would just go through these pages and renumber. What is cool about adding page numbers in this particular way is that you can always rest assured that all of your page numbers will appear in the exact same spot here. Now let us have a look at how to add page numbers in Canva from scratch. The first thing I would do is to press T on my keyboard to actually add some text box to our canvas. Once that is done, I will left click on the design and will then resize it to make it a little bit bigger. Now I'm double clicking inside of the text box to highlight the text and I will then type our first page number, which would be one. Now this is still a little bit big, so I will make it a little bit smaller still. It's time to decide now where we would like to have this page number. In most cases, I would say to place a page number in the lower right corner of the screen is very appropriate. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm simply going to left click on it and then drag it here in the lower right corner of the screen and place it there. The next step would be to use the duplicate page function here on top I would simply duplicate that as many times as I need and then I will simply renumber these pages here. If you would like to reposition these page numbers, you should actually not do this manually because if you just do it like this, for example, there's a very high chance that your page numbers will be messed up and won't appear in the very same position for each page. That's obviously not what you want. So what you can do here is to use Canva's position feature. You find it here in this top bar, but before we click on it, make sure to click on the page number that you would like to adjust. And only after that, click here on position. And here in the arrange tab under advanced, you can see that we find the exact positioning of our page number on the page, which is really useful because now if we reposition our page number, you will see this reflection here in the advanced tab. And guess what? For other pages, when you click on another page number, let's click here on page number two, you could simply make sure that all the numbers here are the same and then you could be sure that the page numbers are located in the exact same spot. If you find that there are differences here, then you can obviously simply copy any of these values here and then go to the desired number, make sure that you're still in the positioning menu and then simply paste that there. In this case here, we already had the same width, so the changes here are obviously not apparent. Another great thing that you can do from there here in the positioning menu is you can align your page number to the page. So make sure that the page number is selected and then for instance you could click here on center and you would end up with a perfectly centered page number. Last but not least, if you would like to get all fancy with page numbers in Canva, you could also use elements from Canva's elements tab to add page numbers. To do so, click on elements in the left sidebar and then search for numbers. In this case, we would like to use graphics, so I will make sure to click here on see all. You will then get a lot of page numbers that are all styled already. To make sure that page number graphics are perfectly aligned with each other, make sure to put the first page number in the desired spot. And after that on top here, we would simply click on duplicate page for as many times as you need. Then go to the elements tab and make sure to add the consecutive page numbers because here obviously we still have the problem that it will say page number one for each of these pages which is obviously not what we want so after page number one here on page number two we would add page number two then we will add page number three page number four 
and page number 5. Putting these page numbers in the exact same location is actually pretty easy because we can simply left click on the page number now, move it down and then just use these pink help lines of Canva. So like this, I know that these numbers now are perfectly horizontally aligned. I would then simply resize it by left clicking and dragging down from one of these circles here on top because this will now show me when these page numbers have the exact same size. Now after that, I will just left click and put that number 2 exactly on number 1. Then just repeat that for the other page numbers. Now in some case you might be working on a project where page numbers are all over the place and are not perfectly aligned. And in this case, let's say somebody shared the design with you and they already had like 10 finished pages where each page is actually radically different from each other and just the page number should be aligned perfectly, then it's a great idea for you to use Canva rulers. To do so, simply click on file in the upper left corner of the screen, then hover over view settings and then click on show rulers and guides. And you will then see these lovely rulers here on your design, on top and on the left side. Now to activate these rulers, hover your mouse over the ruler, then left click and drag down from the top and do the same here on the left side for the left ruler. And just like that you have added a perfect horizontal ruler from the top and a perfect vertical ruler from the left. You can do this as many times as you want, so if you need a second vertical ruler, simply hover your mouse over the ruler again, then left click and drag it onto your design. We will do the same here from the top as well to get another horizontal ruler. Now this is obviously super handy because this makes it very easy for us to position any kind of element in Canva at an exact location. When you use the duplicate page option here on top, the ruler stay will also be copied over. So this will make it very easy for you to make sure that your page numbers are always in the right spot. And that's it guys, this is how you add page numbers in Canva like a total boss. Now, if this video indeed solved your problem, I would be most grateful if you could smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Have a great one, bye!